Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Let's see what spirit has for you today for loving messages. Please use these readings to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that has recently been guided here. Spirit, please share with me loving messages. I am listening for you now. The veil, the future, lifting the veil. And if you look closely, it's a mask, but she can see through that mask. It's like, I don't want to see. I am, I'm trying to not see something. So sometimes we have to look at the truth. Sometimes we have to look at what's in front of us or what's ahead of us. We can't just push it under the rug or think it's all going to go away. Sometimes we have to accept what's right in front of us and deal with it depending on what's going on. But I have a feeling we're going to take off this mask. We're going to look at some kind of truth coming our way. And I know that you guys are honest with yourselves enough that you do the best thing that's, you know, what's right for you. So I'm just going to say it that way, just do the best thing for you. And I have a graveyard, unnecessary fear, letting go of the fear. Of course, that veil could be, um, I'm just afraid. I'm afraid of what's ahead of me. I'm afraid to make a change. I'm not sure what's going to be on the other side. So those are definitely fears that everybody struggles with. But Spirit just said nothing to be afraid of. We have you. And I have midnight, the most magical hour of it all. So when the clock strikes 12, okay, what is going on? Let's see, the number 12, I'm going to go with 12, 12, um, you know, but I do like this, I, I do like this kind of clock striking 12 um, happening because I feel like it's a moment in time that changes your life. And we all have those moments. We can all remember the moment a child was born. We can all remember, for those of you that have been married, you know, your wedding day. I mean, there's moments in your in your lifetime that nobody could ever take away from you. And certainly meeting a soulmate, meeting your next person, would be a moment in time that's kind of held in space is how I feel. Spirit, please share with me. What is it you need me to know? I have an eight of cups. Seven of swords. I have a three of swords. And I have a two of pentacles. So you can see this, this, run of quest. I'm moving on, you know, I'm, I'm looking for and searching for something different. Uh, treachery, disappointment, flexibility. I don't want this energy in my life anymore. I need to see the truth in some way. I have to take that veil off and I have to move in the direction that's best for me is always the eight of cups. It's like, because think of it this way. The nine of cups is contentment. The 10 of cups is fulfillment. So when we are in the eight of cups, we are walking towards something better. So I want you to think of it that way. I am removing somebody that hurt me, somebody that lied to me, somebody that deceived me, Spirit just said. So a little bit of a, I I'm not allowing this into my life anymore. I go back and forth, possibly with these kinds of energies or these types of people, but I'm not allowing it into my life anymore. There's my nine of cups, satisfaction, contentment, feeling joy, feeling fulfilled. So we're moving in that direction and that's much more important to you. I have a seven of wands that came into me as I'm never going to give up on myself. I'm not, uh, I'm, you know, I'm worth it. So I'm not going to ever let anybody drag me down or put me down or anything like that. So you have to be able to believe in yourself above all else. 
And that's just a reminder, a page of pentacles, reliability. I'm gonna take this keyword for a minute and I'm just gonna use it in the sense of, there's two things that came in. The first is somebody coming into your life that you can rely on, okay? That you could start to rely on, whether it's they're there for you um, financially in some way, they could be there for you, giving you their time, their effort in, in an area. And then it came into me is that you can rely on yourself, that you have the resources to constantly be thinking of new ways to take care of yourself first. So I do, I do believe that. Bottom of the deck, this deck is so pretty. And look at, I'm going to show off the purple <laughs> only because it matches my display. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Um, bottom of the deck, I have the wheel. Look at the changes coming. Let's pick up some of these numbers, 18, 4, 14, 20, and 2. So maybe the numbers on this card have some meaning to some of you. I like the dragon on the shoulder and the butterfly. I love that. So here's my wheel of fortune, and she's hopeful. She's, she's excited. She wants to roll this dice. So it's a feeling of, I know there's something better out there for me. And I'm going to take care of myself first is how I feel. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know? What is coming towards us? How do we take care of ourselves first? Anything you want to share with us today? Mastery. At this phase in my life, I'm focused on honing my craft and refining the skills that will help me to fulfill my purpose. You could be working on you. And, you know, we're, we're human. We have the ability to do a lot of different things at, at the same time. You could be working on developing goals and ambitions and your career and some kind of uh, something that you're very good at. At the same time as starting a new re relationship, healing, spiritual growth. We have such great capacity to juggle all these different things at once. So don't put an area of your life on hold while you're waiting for someone else or an answer on, on an area of your life. Just keep doing what is important to you and then the rest will fall into place is how I feel. I have intuition. Trust your intuition for it knows the way to me. When you listen closely, love's whispers become clear. Ooh, I love that. I love this feeling of love whispering in your ear. Uh, somebody coming into your energy with those kind of sweet nothings, <laughs> you know, that pillow talk, sweet nothing um, energy. How gorgeous. All right. Love whispers in your ear. Listen for it. I have a separation. Even though we're not together right now, our separation is only temporary. We've always had so many lifetimes together and have so many more to come. So could be a soulmate and separation, could be we haven't met each other in this lifetime yet. So that could be um, Spirit's message with that. I have an event. Don't be afraid to get out of the house more. It may be an opportunity for us to meet. I always say, if you get invited to somewhere, go, because you never know why you are supposed to be in that room. And sometimes it's so easy just to say, I don't want to go. I'm tired. I had a hard week. I just want to stay home. But when you're looking for your person, you've got to put your energy into different places. So if you're invited to something or you have an opportunity to go a different somewhere different, I would say absolutely get yourself out there because spirit will align you with the person that you're supposed to be with. If you're looking for somebody organically, then you definitely have to get out more. Let's see what we are saying here. Hopeful. I know we I know we will be together again. I hope we can put the past and the bad times behind us and start again. I know I am asking a lot of you and I hope you can forgive me. Um, I was acting immaturely. So the separation could be somebody from your past. That's not all of you. I know you're going to bomb my, my comments. 
<laughs> but some of you may be hoping that somebody from your past has a second um, you know, thought of reconciliation, a second chance that you'd be open to it. So some of you, that could be what Spirit wants you to hear today. Check out your no contact readings as well. And let's see what else they have. I have passion. You excite me on every level. The heat is rising between us. This is the intensity for my desire for you. I want you. I want your body, mind, and soul. There you go. We will be one. So we want that. We want passion. We don't want just uh, physical passion. I like that they included mind, body, and soul. I want you. I want you for everything. I want every part of you. So that that's really important. We don't want to be just a, a you know physical connection. Anybody can have that. That's that's not going to fulfill you. I have sleepless. Anxiety keeps me awake at night. My life has changed since I met you. Um, I actually like this card because it's the person who is can't get their mind off of you. It's the person who is tossing and turning at night, just saying, is this the person I'm supposed to be with? Is this really happening? <laughs> um, and I think that Sometimes it is sleepless nights. I'm going to say it that way. And it, but in a good way, it's coming into me in a good way that I might get up in the middle of the night and just check my phone or I might get up in the middle of the night and hope to have gotten a, a voicemail message from you while I was sleeping, you know, something like that. But it is it is a feeling of I can't get you off of my mind. And is this really happening? I really like that energy. Thank you, spirit. Let's see what else we have. Let's see. What do you want? Tell me about these sleepless nights. Tell me about this passion. Mind, body, soul. I have a seven of imps. Okay. I have a ten of ghosts. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. I have a Five of Bats. I have a Magician. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling, and I have a Chariot at the bottom of my deck, and a Nine of Ghosts. So I do feel this. This is my Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups and a chariot. I do feel like I'm moving forward with this person. I'm, I'm a little bit struggling with holding back for some reason. I might have a lot on my plate. I'm not using that as an excuse. I'm trying to find a way, Spirit just said. So this could be somebody who has a very busy schedule and has um, just a lot going on in their life, but they're trying to make time and they're trying to make you a priority in their life. So that is coming into me. But I do feel that it's moving in this direction of we could be very happy together. And I'm just trying to figure out how to make it work. So it could be a distance thing or I, I don't feel like a long distance relationship. I feel more of a time. We could be on different schedules. We could, one person works like morning, one person works evenings, or somebody works um, eve uh, weekends. So it's really hard to figure out what day of the week, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be together, something like that. But I do feel like we are moving in the right direction. I, I really do. I feel like we are trying to figure this out and trying to make this work. Spirit, please share with me. I want to go back to love whispers. <laughs> Can I have some loving whispering messages? How about that? Let's get some some whispers of love. Let's get let's see what they want you to know. Spirit, please share with me. I love spending time with you. I do feel like that's what we struggle with. I feel that we are just trying to get into each other's schedules, finding the time that is quality time that we can really do something and spend some time and in private time, they're saying, maybe we have uh, kids on one side or the other or both. So how do we find time to be alone? 
So it's this feeling of um, quality time and private time is something that we're just trying to figure out. But we will. We'll make it work. And I have, I'm asking others about you. I have been asking around, wondering, maybe you have some friends in common, something like that. You're making new friends. I will stay by your side. I do in starting to feel a future with you. Again, going back to those sleepless nights, like, is this real? Is this really happening? Are, are we really going to do this? You know, so I think it's exciting. I think it's exciting. You could be starting to talk about living together. And that's why it's, I hope I'm making a good choice. I hope I'm making the right choice. Something like that. And we are destined to be together. So we can't, we can't deny it is how I feel. I feel like this is somebody who comes into your life literally in a moment's time. Your life changes. You'll never forget the moment that you met this person. And then these beautiful whispers of love, this, these uh, things that this person says to you that only they have said to you. And I feel like that's how you fall in love because you just believe it. You just know that they mean it when they're saying these things to you. So I really feel like you're going to fall in love with this person. It's, it's, a, it's a very strong um, it's a, it's a soul connection, but it's a very strong emotional connection to me. I feel like it's a very intimate emotional connection. So I think you're both very sensitive and I feel like you're both very emotional, you know, where you both have tears in your eyes when you say you love each other. You both have tears in your eyes when you make love. So I do feel like it's a very emotional connection and commitment. So we're going to put this one out to the universe. How beautiful. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.